Dear students, today we shall discuss topological sorting. For this, I will just take a simple example of day-to-day -day tasks that we do. So, consider the following tasks. Wearing shoes, number one. Number two, taking bath. Number three, wearing belt. Number four, eating tiffin. Number five, brushing teeth. Number six, wearing socks. Number seven, wearing pants. I have taken seven tasks, simple tasks that we do in our daily life. Now, consider the following sequence of tasks. I will just write a sequence of tasks. Let us discuss about that sequence. Example number one. 3, 4, 7, 2, 5, 6, 1. 3 means wearing belt. First, wearing belt. 4, eating tiffin. Then 7, wearing pant. 2, taking bath. 5 brushing teeth, 6 wearing socks, 7 uh, after 6, 1 wearing shoes. Now, carefully understand number 3 is wearing belt, number 7 is wearing pant. So, first wearing belt will come, afterwards wearing pant will come. So, is this possible? First wear the belt, afterwards wear the pant. Is this possible? It is impossible. It is impossible. How to wear belt afterwards pant? No, it is not possible. Therefore, wearing belt and then wearing pant. Oh, no. Not a proper sequence of tasks. Yes, example number one is not a proper sequence of tasks. Let us take example number two. 7, 4, 3, 2, 5, 1, 6. 7, wearing pant. Number four, eating tiffin. Number three, wearing belt. 2. Taking bath. 5. Brushing teeth. Number 1. Wearing shoes. Number 6. Wearing socks. Now, carefully understand number 1 and number 6. First, you have to wear the shoes. Number 1. Afterwards, number 6. Wearing socks. So, now, wearing shoes. Afterwards, wearing socks. Is it possible? No, it is not possible. How can we wear shoes? First and then socks. No, it is impossible. Therefore, wearing shoes and then wearing socks. Oh, no, it is not possible. Therefore, it is not a proper sequence of tasks. Next example number 3. We will take 5, 2, 7, 3, 4, 6, 1. What is 5? Brushing teeth. Very good. Brushing teeth first. Then number 2, taking bath. Good. Number 7, Wearing pant, okay. Number three, wearing pant, okay. After pant, you wear the belt. Next, number four, eating tiffin, okay. Next, number six, wearing socks. Afterwards, number one, wearing shoes. I think this sequence is quite logical. There is no problem in this sequence. So, this is proper sequence of tasks. Now, this sequence. 5, 2, 7, 3, 4, 6, 1 is called as topological sequence. So, it is proper. Dependency and all is uh, well taken care of. Therefore, 5, 2, 7, 3, 4, 6, 1 is called as topological sequence. I think now you might have understood the idea of topological sequence. Next, I will consider an example of a graph and uh, we shall do the topological sorting. Yes. Now, let us consider a dependency graph. Yes, I will take four vertices. So, this is the dependency graph and the edges. Let us assume each vertex represents a task. So, we have four tasks here. Task number one, task number two, task number three and task number four. Now, you can just observe. Task number one is not dependent on any other tasks. Because there are no incoming edges for uh, one. Therefore, task one is not dependent on any other tasks. Very good. Task two, you can just see. It is dependent on task 1 because there is a edge from 1 to 2. So, 2 is dependent on 1. So, what does it mean? It means if you have to do task 2, before that task 1 should have been finished. It means task 2 can be done only after task 1 is completed. Very good. Next, let us consider task 3. So, now task 3 is dependent on both the tasks 1 and 2. Task 3 is dependent on... Task 1 also, task 2 also. What does it mean? It means task 3 can be done only after task 1 and task 2 are completed.
very good next task 4 task 4 it is dependent on task 3 as well as task 2 that is task 4 is dependent on task 2 and task 3 what does it mean it means task 4 can be done only after task 2 and task 3 are completed so now you saw the dependency of the four tasks so what is the topological sequence first you can do one afterwards you can do one uh, afterwards you can do two so after one two are over you can do three after two three are over you can do four meaning the topological sequence for this dependency graph is one two three four this is the only topological uh, sequence that is there for the uh, for this particular dependency graph now what is topological sorting carefully understand topological sorting is the process of finding an order of vertices that's what we call it as topological sequence it is the process of finding an order of vertices such that vertex j appears after vertex i if there is an edge from vertex i to j meaning when there is an edge from vertex i to j I should be over, after that only we can do J, that is the meaning, we, we have seen this in our example also. Now, there can be many topological sequences for a given directed graph, many topological sequences can be there for a graph and also many times finding topological sequence may not be possible if the directed graph contains loops or cycles, always it is not possible to get the topological sequence. Many times cycles, loops and or interdependencies, you may not be able to get the topological sequence. Now, straight away we will go to the operation of how to get the topological sorting. So, consider the following graph. We will take one graph. Yes. Seven vertices I have taken. These are the edges. Yes. It is only dependency, no weights and all. Now, what we do is, we initialize the in degree for each vertex. I think all of you know the meaning of in degree. In degree means the number of edges coming to that particular vertex. So, how many vertices are coming to, how many edges are coming to 1? 0. Therefore, in degree of 1 is equal to 0. How many edges are coming to 2? 1. Therefore, what is in degree of 2? 1. How many edges are coming to 3? 2 edges are coming, one from 1, another from 4. So, what is the in degree of 3? 2. Next, how many edges are coming to 4? Uh, I think only 1. Okay, so what is the in degree of 4? 1. 5, how many edges are coming to 5? 2 edges are coming. One is coming from 2, the other one is coming from 3. Therefore, what is the in degree of 5? 2. 6, what is the in degree of 6? 2, because one edge is coming from 3, the other edge is coming from 4. In degree of 6 is equal to 2. Next, last. What is the integrity of 7? 3 edges are coming to 7, 1 from 3, 5 and 7. Therefore, integrity of 7 is equal to 3. I think this is quite simple. So, whenever a graph is given, first initialize the integrity. This is the first step. Next step is, we have a check array also. Initialize 0 for all the vertices. There are 7 vertices. What is the initial value of check for all the 7 vertices? 0. This is the second step. Afterwards, we also keep one TS array, that is topological sorting array, which will contain the sequence of the topological sequence. What, what, whatever, whenever we select a vertex, we add uh, to this. Yes. Now, how to select a vertex? Carefully understand, we should select a vertex in such a manner that for that vertex, in degree also should be 0 and check also should be 0. Now, among these 7 vertices, which vertex has in degree is equal to 0 and check is equal to 0? Only one vertex, which is that? 1. Yes, in degree of 1 is equal to 0, check of 1 also is equal to 0. Therefore, we, we, we select 1. So, 1 is added to TS array also. After 1 is added to TS array, we have to make check of 1 is equal to 1. We make it because already it is added to TS array. Now, very important. For all the vertices which are dependent on 1, we should decrement the in degree of those vertices. Yes. How many vertices are dependent on 1? 3 vertices are dependent. What are they? 2, 3 and 4. You can see from 1, edge is going to 2, another edge is going to 3, another edge is going to 4. So, 3 vertices are dependent on 1. Therefore, 
in degree of 2, in degree of 3, and in degree of 4 should be decremented. Just see the in degrees now. Yes, 2 is decremented, 3 is also decremented, 4 is also decremented. Yes, whatever vertices were dependent on 1, we have decremented the in degrees of those vertices. Very good. Again, selection of the vertices. So, we have to select a vertex for which in degree also equal to 0, check also equal to 0. But now, if you just observe, there are two vertices like that. That is vertex 2 and vertex 4. 2 also in degree 0, check 0. 4 also in degree 0 and check 0. So, in, in this case, you can select any of them. But we will select the smaller number. We will select 2. Mm. Yes, in degree of 2 is equal to 0, check of 2 is equal to 0. You have selected 2. 2 will put it to TSR. Yes, TSR will get 2. And check of 2 should become equal to 1. Yes, because 2 is already added to TSRA, therefore check of 2 should become equal to 1. Next, very important. How many vertices are dependent on 2? Only 1, which is that? 5. So, what should happen to the in degree of 5? It should be decremented. Just see the in degree of 5. Yes, it is decremented. Very good. Again, selection of the vertex. So, we have to select a vertex for which in degree is equal to 0 and check is equal to 0. So, in this particular case, if you just observe, there is only one vertex 4. Very good. 4 in degree of 4 is equal to 0 and check of 4 is equal to 0. So, 4 is added to TSRA and check of 4 also will become equal to 1. Now, how many vertices are dependent on 4? 2 vertices are dependent on 4. What are they? 3 and 6. Therefore, what should happen to the in degree of 3 and 6? Decremented by 1. Just observe the in degree. In degree of 3. Yes, decremented by 1. In degree of 6, yes, decremented by 1. Very good. Next again, selection of a vertex. Select a vertex for which in degree is equal to 0 and check is equal to 0. In this particular case, there is only one vertex, that is vertex 3. In degree of 3 is equal to 0 and check of 3 also equal to 0. Therefore, we select 3. 3 should be added to TSRA. Yes, 3 is added. And what should happen to the check of 3? It should become 1. Now, how many vertices are dependent on 3? 3 vertices are dependent on 3. What are they? 5, 6, 7. Because from 3, there is an edge to 5. There is an edge to 6. There is an edge to 7. Therefore, the in degree of 5, 6, 7 should be decremented. Just observe the in degree of 5. Yes, decremented. In degree of 6, decremented. In degree of 7, decremented. Very good. Again, go back. Selection of the vertex. So, select a vertex for which in degree is equal to 0 and check is equal to 0. There are two vertices like that, 5 and 6. You can select any one of them. We will select the smaller number, 5. Therefore, in degree of 5, 0. Check of 5 is equal to 0. So, 5 should be added to TSRA. Yes, it is added. And what should happen to check of 5? It should become 5. Yes. Now, how many vertices are dependent on 5? Only one, which is that? 7. So, what should happen to the in degree of 7? Decremented. Observe the in degree of 7. Yes, it is decremented. Very good. Next, again, go back. Selection of the vertex. Select a vertex for which in degree is equal to 0 and check is equal to 0. There is only one vertex like that. That is 6. In degree of 6 is equal to 0. Check of 6 is equal to 0. Select 6. Put it to TSRA. Yes, 6 is put there. And check of 6 will become equal to 1. Now, how many vertices are dependent on 6? Only one, which is that? 7. Therefore, what should happen to the in degree of 7? Decremented. Just observe the in degree of 7. Yes, it is decremented. Now, again, go back. Selection of the vertex. Select a vertex for which in degree is equal to 0 and check is equal to 0. There is only one vertex uh, which has in degree is equal to 0 and check is equal to 0. That is 7. We select. Yes, in degree of 7, 0. Check of 7 is equal to 0. 7 should be put to TSRA. Yes, and check of 7 should become equal to one you can just see all the vertices check becomes one so it means uh, uh, we stop we stop this operation but in our case we have got the topological sequence because seven vertices are there in tsra this approach is called single source removal method for finding the topological sequence i think the operation is very simple directly we should go to the topological sorting algorithm so what is the input Adjacency matrix of the dependency graph. Yes. After that, output is 
topological sequence if exists as i told if the directed graph contains some loops or cycles sometimes it may not be possible to get the topological sequence therefore topological sequence tp if exists yes topo ss meaning topological sorting using single source removal method v and n what is n n is the number of vertices this is a very simple algorithm so what is the first step that we did there we initialize the in degree for all the vertices same thing initialize the in degree of all the in vertices very good next if you remember the operation what did we do we made the check value for all the vertices equal to 0 yes initialize initialize the check array value to 0 for all the vertices yes that's what we did next we are going to put an infinite while loop this is while true means it's an infinite loop infinite loop when do you come out of this infinite loop whenever no vertices are there with in degree is equal to 0 and check is equal to 0 then only we come out of this while loop i think you will understand so first step is select w such that check of w is equal to 0 and in degree of w is equal to 0 always we were doing the same thing we were selecting a vertex with in degree 0 and check 0 that's what is the statement here now if there are if there is no such w break come out of the while loop if you cannot find a vertex with check is equal to 0 and in degree is equal to 0 break come out of the infinite while loop otherwise if there is a vertex w add w to the end of tp that's what we were doing in our operation also yes tp and check of w is equal to 1 that's what we were doing in our operation also next most important decrement the in degree of all the vertices that are dependent on w oh, very important decrement the in degree of the vertices that are dependent on w oh, very important that's all the while loop statement when you come out of the while loop if the number of vertices in tp is less than n it means there is no topological sequence you try it but there is no topological sequence suppose if it is equal to n tp will contain the topological sequence yes tp will contain the topological sequence see this is a simple algorithm topological sorting i think the concept of topological sorting the operation of topological sorting and the algorithm of topological sorting i think you you would have understood quite easily the simple algorithm i think you should be able to write the code for this algorithm in any programming language that you like